so guys the war between the EFF and the MK party is starting to get bitter and it is starting to get nasty recently Dr. Susan Pofu Walsh did a video about whether the EFF and the MK party will work together in the future or not but there is something important that Dr. Susan Pofu Walsh actually addressed in his recent video he addressed the accusations that his platform is now the MK party platform. We know that Fred Shivambu went to SMWX, that interview that actually broke the internet. Busiswim Kobane went to the same platform to announce that she will be leaving the EFF. And recently we saw Brian Mulefe in the same podcast. So right now, the position that has been taken online, especially by the EFF supporters, is that Dr. Sizon Pofuage is now an operative of the, e of the MK party in the media space. They believe that the MK party is using this platform of SMWX to actually spread their propaganda because they are saying that, no man, how is it possible that recently the only people that you are interviewing are the MK people. But Dr. Susan Pofu Walsh also defended himself even on social media. Uh, some people also defended CISO on social media to say, guys, but to be fair, you guys are not being honest with what you are saying about Susan Pofu Walsh because for weeks the man has been interviewing different people from different political parties. But just three interviews from the MK party, you guys are now saying that Sison Pofu Walsh is an operative of the MK party. So Sison Pofu Walsh actually took a bit of time to actually say, guys, you are not fair. You are not fair in your criticism. I understand that you guys are angry about everything that is happening right now. But please do not accuse me of being an operative of the MK party. I am a fair political commentator. It's quite sad for me to see that there are some people in the EFF who have fallen for this idea that just because MK people accept my invitations to do interviews. And I mean, you see, <laughs> everything that is happening right now, man, and I think they are going to make it very hard for Sison Pufuash to try to say that, guys, I am credible. The SMWX is credible, especially after Dalim Pufu, the father of Sison Pufuash has resigned from the EFF to now going to join the MK party. They are also taking that in. Everything they are taking it in into one basket and to say that this is the reason why we say that you are an operative of the MK party. So I don't know how Susan Pofuals is actually going to fight through this because it seems like every day, it seems like every day these calls are getting louder and louder that Susan Pofuals you are no longer a balanced political commentator that we loved, that some of us disagreed. Maybe sometimes we disagree, maybe sometimes we don't agree. But it seems like recently you are an operative of the MK party. This is the accusation that has been leveled against Sison Pofu Walsh by the supporters of the EFF online. So for him to even talk about this, clearly it shows that it got to him slightly. It got to him and he needed to address all of these things that have been said about him online. So guys, I don't know, what are your thoughts? Do you think that the EFF are within their right to say that Dr. Sison Pofu Walsh has now went from being a fair co political commentator to now an operative of the MK party? Or do you think that it's unfair and the EFF are trying to release their stress on, on Dr. Sison Pofu Walsh? Because one of the most important things that he's going to mention is that after Floyd Shivambu, the EFF leaders are no, longer take, are no longer taking his calls. The people are not enthusiastic about going to the platforms anymore. So him as a content creator, what can he do? Because these people from the EFF are saying, no, we don't even want to go to that platform. So the EFF guys, especially in the leadership, I think they are just packaging Dr. Sison Pofu Walsh and his father, Advocate Dalim Pofu, to say that if Advocate Dalim Pofu is going to leave this organization, we don't want to hear anything about Dr. Sison Pofu Walsh. I don't know how unfair is it. I honestly don't know. 
it's quite sad for me to see that there are some people in the EFF who have fallen for this idea that just because MK people accept my invitations to do interviews and indeed often sometimes break news on the channel that I am somehow only inviting MK guests onto this platform and that I'm trying to pursue some kind of MK agenda or worse, I'm trying to destroy the EFF with this podcast, right? That's just petty, naive, and unfair. Many people in the EFF will know that I constantly invite EFF leaders onto SMWX, but what is sad to me is that ever since I interviewed Floyd, EFF has decided not to come onto my podcast. And I'm hoping it's just a short-term thing. I understand that the party is like, there are a lot of people who are angry with Floyd and I brought him on and therefore they transfer that onto me. But I don't get this idea that um, because I interview people from from MK that I am some kind, some kind of MK mouthpiece. The irony is I was always accused of being an EFF mouthpiece. <laughs> I remember after Dr. Sizwe actually interviewed Floyd Shivambu, <clears throat> there's this lady, man, from the EFF. I don't know her name is. I don't know if I'm going to get her name right. See, she, she said that why did Sizwe Walsh agree to use his platform to actually invite Floyd Shivambu to cause divisions inside the EFF. So this comes from a member of parliament of the EFF saying that why are you inviting Floyd Shivambu? So they are basically saying that because Sizwe Mpofu Walsh, many people have actually accused him of being a mouthpiece of the EFF. Why would Sizwe Mpofu Walsh actually invite Floyd Shivambu after Floyd Shivambu has dropped the EFF to go and join the MK party? So even some members of the EFF inside the parliament are not happy about the interviews that Sizwe Mpofu Walsh has done in the platform. <laughs> they are not happy. <laughs> they are not happy. So it seems like they don't believe in freedom of speech anymore. They don't believe in freedom of speech. They don't believe in free press in free press anymore. Because what is this on Walsh says that after I invited Floyd, the EFF guys are no longer coming to the platform. I believe him. I don't wanna lie. For some reason, I believe him. I believe him because when they see him, they see Advocate Dalimpofu and they believe that Advocate Dalimpofu has actually betrayed the EFF. Of course, this this is how they are going to attack you. This is how they are going to attack you. Every time an MK person attends or goes to this platform, they are going to say, yes, we told you. We told you that this platform is an MK party platform. We told you that Sison Pofu Walsh is no longer on our side. And we are hurt because Sison Pofu Walsh is one of the most, like this guy is well known throughout the country. Like people know him. Some people love him. Some people hate him. But truth is that Sison Pofu Walsh is known and he's quite influential. So I think the EFF believes that they have lost Sison Pofu Walsh because they have always believed that Sison Pofu Walsh is their mouthpiece. Now that Sison Pofu Walsh is inviting the members of the MK party, they feel betrayed. They even feel like Sison Pofu Walsh is betraying them by inviting the members of the MK party. This is how the EFF operates. This is how the EFF operates. But honestly, me personally, I am not surprised. I am not surprised. I remember I was having a conversation with a friend of mine the other day. I said, man, you see this civil war between the EFF and the MK party is going to be bitter. It's going to be nasty. It's going to be very long. And many people are going to catch the stray bullets. So it seems like Dr. Sison Pofu Walsh is one of those people that got the stray bullets from the EFF. They are taking the frustrations on everyone. They are taking the frustrations on everyone. They don't trust anything that has to do with Mpofu anymore. Sison Pofu Walsh, they love your platform. Maybe they loved your platform, but because you are Mpofu, man, you, you are going to be treated the same way they are going to treat Advocate Dalim Pofu. This is how they are going to respond to you. I think even the comments under your videos are now going to get nasty. 
especially from the EFM supporters, because they see you, they see your father, they say that you and your father, you planned all of this, you planned how these people are going to come to your platform to actually destroy the EFF. This is how they see it. This is how the EFF supporters actually see SMWX right now. So I don't know how Dr. Sison Pufuaj is actually going to get himself out of this one. I don't know how he's actually going to get himself out of this one. But for me, I would actually say that you've been doing a good job. Some people actually, you know, in this space, people, some people will like you. Some people will hate you, but it's fine. It's part of the game. But I believe that you have been doing a very wonderful job. I believe that the only thing that actually, just, just continue doing your job. Just continue doing your job. Because if you allow these people to get under your skin, man, I'm telling you, you are not going to do anything. You are not going to do anything because right now, even the leaders of the EFF, they are not telling them that, guys, we don't know, we don't want to do the interviews with Sison Pofu Walsh anymore. The guy has invited us time and time again, but we have refused to go to this platform of Dr. Sison Pofu Walsh. This is not what the leaders of the EFF are telling their supporters. They are just happy that their supporters of the EFF, they are taking you and calling you the mouthpiece of the MK party. They are just happy about that. They are just happy about that. So even them, they know exactly what they are doing. They know exactly what they are doing because maybe for them to actually try to, to, to make this matter, well, matter better, they could have just said, man, you know, guys, please stop attacking Dr. Sison Pofu Walsh and saying that he no longer invites the EFF guys. Dr. Sison Pofu Walsh always invites us, but we are opting not to go to that platform because we believe that Dr. Sison Pofu Walsh is an operative of the MK party or we don't want anything to do with them Pofu anymore. Maybe the EFF leaders should have said that, but no, they are just sitting down. They are not even saying anything to their supporters and they are just allowing their supporters to continue to attack Dr. Sison Pofu Walsh. It is so crazy, man. It is so crazy. So I saw with, with this video and I said, man, for you to even address this matter, man, these people must have gotten to you. They must have gotten to you. But I know maybe he felt like it is important for him to actually address this issue of the EFF people accusing him of being a mouthpiece of the MK party. It's quite sad for me to see that there are some people in the EFF who have fallen for this idea that just because MK people accept my invitations to do interviews and indeed often sometimes break news on the channel, that I am somehow only inviting MK guests onto this platform and that I'm trying to pursue some kind of MK agenda or worse, I'm trying to destroy the EFF with this podcast, right? That's just petty, naive, and unfair. Many people in the EFF will know that I constantly invite EFF leaders onto SMWX, but what is sad to me is that ever since I interviewed Floyd, EFF has decided not to come onto my podcast. And I'm hoping it's just a short-term thing. I understand that the party is like, there are a lot of people who are angry with Floyd and I brought him on and therefore they transfer that onto me. But I don't get this idea that um, because I interview people from, from MK that I am some kind, some kind of MK mouthpiece. The irony is I was always accused of being an EFF mouthpiece. <laughs> and because I had one interview with Floyd now, suddenly I'm an MK mouthpiece. Um, the EFF can't, they can't they boycott ENCA and the mainstream and sometimes they don't like newsroom and I've seen them say that SABC is now an MK platform and then they can't also boycott digital media because there'll be no media left. I mean, no I, media will... This is the reason why in my, previous, in my previous video I said that it is absurd for Floyd Shivamu to say that he was misled by the media about Jacob Zuma. The EFF never liked the media. This is the point that I was making. The EFF never liked the media. So for the guy to sit down on national television to say that they were misled by the media about Jacob Zuma, as if Floyd Shivambu and the EFF as a whole listen to the media. They don't listen to the media. They see the media as a propaganda tool of the Rupert that is only designed to destroy and, 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 and destroy the black unity. This is how they have always characterized the media. So for Floyd Shivambu to say that, no, Oh, we were misled by the media. I found that to be very upset. I found that to be very upset. So, 
I guess, man, this is how they are going to treat you. Honestly, I think this is how they are going to treat you. Because of this fight of them, between them and the MK party. And your father going and joining the MK party, man, it made everything worse. I don't want to lie. It made everything worse. It made everything worse. These people are just angry. These people are just bitter and they want to release their anger onto something. So now that they have found SMWX, they are going to say, okay, this is where we are going to release our stress. This is where we are going to release our anger. And you, Dr. Sison Walsh, you are going to be the victim of these people. You are going to be the victim of these people that South Africans for the longest time have been accusing you of actually representing. So it is insane because for the longest time, Dr. Sison Walsh was actually accused of being a mouthpiece of the EFF. But now, Dr. Sison Walsh is now being accused of being a mouthpiece of the MK party by the same EFF that the people said he was a mouthpiece of. The same EFF that people accused him of being a mouthpiece of. It's insane. It is insane. This is this just shows you how bitter this war is going to be between the EFF and the, M the, and the MK party. This just shows how bitter <laughs> this, this battle is going to be. It's quite sad for me to see that there are some people in the EFF who have fallen for this idea that just because MK people accept my invitations to do interviews and indeed often sometimes break news on the channel that I am somehow only inviting MK guests onto this platform and that I'm trying to pursue some kind of MK agenda or worse I'm trying to destroy the EFF with this podcast right that's just petty naive and unfair Many people in the EFF will know that I constantly invite EFF leaders onto SMWX. But what is sad to me is that ever since I interviewed Floyd, EFF has decided not to come onto my podcast. And I'm hoping it's just a short term thing. I understand that the party is like there are a lot of people who are angry with Floyd and I brought him on and therefore they transfer that onto me. But I don't get this idea that... Um, because I interview people from from MK that I am some kind, some kind of MK mouthpiece. The irony is I was always accused of being an EFF mouthpiece. And because I had one interview with Floyd now, suddenly I'm an MK mouthpiece. Um, the EFF can't, they can't, they boycott ENCA and the mainstream. And sometimes they don't like newsroom. And I've seen them say that SABC is now an MK platform. And then they can't also boycott digital media because... There'll be no media left. No media will always be full of praise for any one political party. But that doesn't mean you you then boycott the platform or whatever. So I'm I'm confident EFF will will come back on SMWX. I'll keep inviting them. And but this is one thing that I would say. MK has figured out the power of digital media. And this platform and many other great podcasts that there are in South Africa where Ah, the MK party has figured out the power of a digital media. I mean, like, the EFF has their own podcast, the EFF podcast. They have their own podcast, but I think they know, like, many people are not going to, like, gravitate that much towards the EFF podcast because they know that it is kind of the propaganda of the EFF. So they actually like see like general people actually like seeing the members of different political parties go into different polit podcasts. But if you are going to invite a member of parliament to the EFF podcast, many people are gonna say, Ah, of course you guys are just gonna agree on everything. So one of the reasons why people are actually accusing Dr. Sison Pufu Walsh, they are saying that no Dr. Sison Pufu Walsh, you allowed Floyd Shivambu to lie about this, to lie about this, to lie about this, to lie about that. But Sison Pufu Walsh has already has always said that it is not his job to actually push back. His job is to do the interview. You as a viewer, it is your job to actually say that no, this guy was lying. No, this guy is not lying. So he has always maintained that 
non-confrontational style of interview. Like he's quite different, especially when it comes to maybe let's say Clement Manyatela. Clement Manyatela is like Clement Manyatela will confront you. And if you say something that Clement Manyatela does not understand, he's gonna say, No, man, I do not understand. Or he's gonna remind you of what you said before. But this is not how Dr. Sison Pofualsh actually does his interviews. So people are actually a different doctor says Pofual should sit there and listen to you and hang you and, and you will hang yourself with a rope and people will criticize you for going to the platform of Sison Pofual and lying. But with Clement Manyatela, it's quite different because they're gonna say, No, Clement Manyatela killed you. Clement Manyatela killed you. So I don't know, man. I don't know. All I know is that this is going to get bitter. It is only it is it is just the beginning of this war of the EFF and the MK party and the likes of Dr. Sison Pofuash are already the casualties, man. They are already the casualties of this war. It is insane. They are already the casualties of this war. And I think that like, the MK party is, is enjoying all the publicity that is getting from left, right and center. I mean, even the likes of Floyd Shivambu doing the interviews, people doing the reaction videos, people commenting on everything. Like the MK party, like it's, it's like to them, there is no such thing as a bad publicity as long as people continue to talk about the MK party. That's what actually helps because this is what it has been happening. Like they have been like people have been consumed by everything that is happening in the MK party because it is a new political party. People are trying to see which way is this political party going to go. They are the third biggest political party in the country. So everyone is quite interested to see how this everything is going to go. Some people are saying, no, this political party is not going to last. Some people are saying, no, it is going to last. Yeah, you know, this conversation of Jacob Zuma, if Jacob Zuma dies, no, you guys are just being obsessed about Jacob Zuma dying. If Even if Jacob Zuma dies, the party is going to be fine. And there, and that alone is, is a debate on its own. So MK party has, has like, like Sison Pofual should say, like, like they have managed to actually see the power of digital media. And they have managed to, 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 to convince people to, to get into this thing, what is happening right now. You see what is happening right now? They have managed people to actually get into that. But I don't know, man. I I, I think the EFF supporters, I don't know. I don't think they have been fair of Sison Pofuarsh because even if you go to his channel, I mean, even if you go to his channel, you can see that he has already, he has done a lot of interviews with different people. He has done a lot of interviews with different people. But for, for, for the people to accuse him of being the mouthpiece of the MK party, I guess it is just a part of the game. I guess it is just a part of the game. So, guys, do you think that the EFF is right to accuse Dr. Sison Pofualsh of being a mouthpiece of the MK party? Or do you think that the EFF supporters are not fair on actually accusing Dr. Sison Pofualsh of, of being a mouthpiece of the MK party? Guys, please tell me what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button. And the most important part is subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. My name is Thomas Mabaso. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.